Indian obsession, the great Indian obsession. Good luck. India is very popular for its population. <laughs> With a country of billion people, since 1947, India has managed to produce only 28 Olympic medals. While China has managed to grab 100 Olympic medals in a single year in 2008. While US has more than 200 plus Nobel laureates in science, while we have none. Good morning Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters. Am I anti-Indian? No, I am extremely patriotic. But something that India churns out annually is more than combined of US and China. Any guesses? Engineers. Engineers, you got it right. <laughs> India produces 1.5 million engineers annually, which is twice the population of Iceland. Just like Ramayana and Mahabharata, engineering enjoys an epic status in our society. With so many engineers, we still are at 76th position in Global Innovative Index. There is a tradition saying in Bangalore, if you throw a stone in air, there is a chance that it will fall down on a dog or an engineer. <laughs> in US, it's 20% and 30% in UK that students are interested in engineering. But in India, it's more than 80%. Now this cannot be a choice, I think. <laughs> From a statistics, on 7th April 2013, 1.4 million candidates appeared for an IIT entrance exam, making it one of the biggest single day exam in the history of mankind. And that too, they were appearing for a staggering 2% result. So, big guts to them. Now you know the worth of coaching classes in India is 23.7 billion dollars, which is more than the Bollywood industry. The uh, SSC examination is considered to be the biggest exercise in the country after its national election. <laughs> the pressure felt by a 15 year old is comparable to a final penalty shootout in a football match. I guess the servers of God must be crashing at the time of board exams. <laughs> and I cannot fathom the fact how can parents lock their kids inside rooms and open it only for the memes? No mobile phone, no TV, no friends. For God's sake, are we dealing with prisoners? There is an uh, interesting fact for, uh, of a dowry in some part of Andhra Pradesh. A bride has to pay 100 rupee to every single rupee earned by a group if the guy is an IIT. In the year 2011, US government cracked down a fake university in US which consisted of 95% Indians. <laughs> and the family even paid rupees 2 crore in terms of dowry. There was one quote written on the wall of an IIT campus. Inspire to aspire before you expire. <laughs> expire? Yes. A student named Rajiv committed suicide by setting himself on fire right outside the Desh Bindu College in Delhi. It's a very sad fact that in every 90 minutes, a teenager tries to commit suicide. 20 students every day kill themselves due to intolerable exam stress. 99% of suicides between age group of 12 to 20 are due to intolerable academic pressure. Now let me add one more thing. We Indians are scared of two things, fear of God, fear of failures. We never do anything and we, we, we risk that we can fail. But let me give you an example of an Australian army. During the selection of Australian army, they collect all the reports of the candidates and they study the reports. If they find that the candidate has not failed even a single time, they don't select him. I repeat, they don't select him because they feel that if the candidate has never failed a single time in his life, he cannot take the burden of the failure in a high pressure situation in the army activities. The kids in Europe borrow their dad's car on a weekend to drive an Uber 
but we consider as or below our dignity. And the jobs that exist today won't even exist after 10 years. That's how the world is moving. But we still ask the same question to a student on which year, which date, charge and I. I only know one thing in India, if you are good at academics, you can be either of three, engineer, doctor, and now we have a new brother, CA. <laughs> so, being an engineer myself, I know all the pros and cons of engineering. So, this was just my point of opinion, which I shared with you. And I got this topic, like I referred a book, it's called The Great Indian Obsession. And I got so inspired by the book that I decided to give a speech and Toastmasters. Thank you.